Welcome back to Cosmic Significance 2012. Please ready your brain to download class notes in three, two... Lizards, they want my brain. Dante, you are the brightest student Hale has ever seen, but you don't belong here. The exaltation is your life in the void of space. You should be honored to fulfill such a destiny. Yes, mommy. When I got there, her house, the entire house, was gone. Mars. Mars? Mars. Okay, class, hang on for astral travel. Look, Mars at the dawn of the third millennium. The Estradi live here in great cities under the living green biodomes. Let's go to Tharsis spaceport where that flying saucer is about to land. Look inside at Dante and touch his feelings. See how confused and scared he is? Well, he, he is still young. Oh, look! Yeah, they're waiting for him is Veronica in a blue suit that snuggles her curves like a hairpin turned on a steep hill. Welcome to Mars, your Imperial Majesty. I am Veronica, programmed to serve you in every way. Excuse me? Your Majesty? The hover pod awaits, sire. Uh, of course. Ladies first, and call me Dante. Yes, sir. Dante, but I'm no lady. You sure look like one to me. A lovely lady. I can change my appearance. I am a gyna droid. Go on, then. Uh, prove it. Now you're a... Buxom blonde? Red hair and freckles. How do you do that? Mm, plasty flesh. My clothes are holographic, of course. How do you wish me to appear? Um, uh, however you want to appear, Veronica. I want? I don't understand. However you like to look. I am programmed to please you in every way. It would please me if you chose your own look. Choose. I will try. <laughs> Dante. So this is Mars. The sky is blue. Oh, look at that big green dome covering Mount Olympus. That is your Imperial Palace, Nix Olympica. My palace? Imperial? Of course. You are royalty. I'm not royalty. I'm an orphan. Lost as a child, Smythe found you. Heir to the Burpsburg Happens Empire, Sovereign of System Soul, Scion of the Unification. Yeah, and you're Dorothy Gale of Kansas. <laughs> Sweet. Gingham dress, ponytails, and ruby slippers. But you look like a child. How old are you really, Veronica? Here we are, sir. Nick's Olympica Imperial Gardens. Uncle Henry! A castle under a green dome. I must report that you are safe. I will return in the morning. Roger 10-4 will see to your need. Welcome, your Imperial Majesty. So, Roger 10-4, this is my palace? Price as tall as Mount Everest and formed during Mars' Amazonian epic Olympus Mont is, in fact, the tallest volcano in system Sol. Your palace and gardens occupy over 66 square miles, but you can't get lost. Your Imperial Majesty, simply request a hollow map. Floor plan! See? You are here. Ascend the grand stairs, six floors, all the elevator behind the waterfall. The staff includes 66 droids for you alone, until the wedding, of course. Wedding? To whom? I'm afraid I'm not programmed with that information, your imperial majesty. My head. I feel so strange. Look up into the green sky. Do you see it? No, your imperial majesty. It's writing with smoke. Surrender. Marvy? Majesty, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine now. Like a dream. Okay, Roger. Show me the waterfall, and call me Dante. Okay, class, moving on. I suppose you've been wondering what happened to Marvel S. J. the psycho. Uh, I mean, psychic girl, who was kidnapped. She is on Mars also. They keep Marvie in a coma, tied to... Hi, Don! How are things in the astral classroom? 
Marvy, what what are you doing here? You are supposed to be unconscious. I am. Comas are so boring. Nobody is picking up my mind beams. So I came to visit your astral classroom. Besides, you are always telling it wrong. N- nonsense! Did you tell them about Stormy getting it on with Ujet? Bet you didn't even mention that. It didn't seem to fit into the story well, yet. Well, not the way you tell it. Well, I'm here now. I suppose you showed them Veronica and Elvis? I was just about to show them. Class. Class, sink your mind to March 16th, 2012 and look into Dante's thoughts. It's his first morning as king of the universe, but he isn't very happy. Can you feel the intense emotion coming off him? Dante's a red-headed inferno. (laughs) Ah, yes, well, he is really mad, slapping at the pages of the Hollow News floating above his coffee. You call this news? All of Titan saw Aminatun crown Pharaoh. Sire, it is seven. Roger, more coffee. His sister bride, Princess Eisen, wore Sire. a crown of gold. Now she's a babe. Majesty, I have someone waiting to meet you. Not until you answer some royally big questions. Like, why haven't I heard of the Mars colonies? Dirtlings see what the Astrati wish them to see. I'm in no mood for your puns, Veronica. Clever words are no substitute for a straight answer. Sire, your answer await in the Amber Room. Your Imperial Majesty, the Amber Room was moved from Russia in 1945 and contained over six tons of amber. The amber of the Amber Room is- Roger! Right through this door. All right, this better be good. White rhinestone pantsuit? Towering black hair and dark glasses? An Elvis impersonator? The original, your Imperial Majesty. Thank you. Thank you very much. Call me Dante, or I'll start calling you King. Fair enough. Tequila! Let's walk in the gardens, and I'll explain what I can. Aren't you supposed to be, you know, dead? Reports of my death were greatly exaggerated. I couldn't go to the john without reporters following. So I left them in the can and came here to get away. (laughs) I have a nice cattle ranch and a big crater a few miles from here. Who else faked their deaths? Marilyn, of course. Two beetles. D.B., Marley, Jackson, oh, and Mayor Dizzy. JFK? Hoffa? No, they're really dead. So the Estradi are what? Just rich space cowboys? Some Estradi are Americans, like us. They are also savages that attack our ranches, the Hopi. They claim the Uberlords genetically engineered them after they took the cream of the crop to seed the system's soul, a tradition that continues with you. You are dead to everybody back on Earth now, too. Nobody cares. I'm an orphan. Smythe is the closest thing I have to a family, and he- Kid, your family lives in the South, like me. Smythe never told me he knew my parents. He said, okay. So tell me, Elvis, how do those saucer ships work? I thought I saw creatures inside. Astral mule worms, you think, they go. (laughs) No way. Psychic space horses. And the Uberlords? I wouldn't believe that either. I mean, aliens? Come on. All of this can be explained by human activity. Ancient humans had the technology to get to Mars? Sure, and the Atlantis myth covered their tracks. Okay, and unification, what's that? Scurrier legend, he who unifies humanity gets the secret of interstellar travel from the Uberlords. No sh- uh, And this wedding, I- uh, My head- under the sea. La la, I love my new legs. That sea witch wasn't so bad. Now we can marry my prince from fish to girl in just seven days. Who's there? Who's saying that? Wait, wait, wait. my voice. I'm breaking up. Dissolving into the sea foam. Nothing left but my poor soul. Help me, Dante! What on Atlantis was that? I don't know. We better get back to the palace. His Imperial Majesty has returned. Tell me, Dante, how do I look today? Pink latex and magenta hair. Hubba hubba. Uh, Let's just watch the hollow TV. I am attempting to find the proper match for your desires. How does this look? 
I'm like a secretary from an 80s porn movie about to pop out of her blouse. Veronica, my desire is that you be yourself. Who are you? I am a model SX-7 gynodroid built to- Yeah, yeah. Show me your blank. Factory spec. Oh, no. I couldn't. Perhaps this is more to your liking. Not bad, actually. White sundress, gold sandals, honey-colored hair. Looks pretty. Is that what you like? What I like is to please you. Dante! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Perhaps you prefer a boy. Veronica, I like you. I would even like to kiss you. But is that what you want? I am programmed to serve... Dante! (sighs) Just stay like that. It's fine. Now sit on this enormous maroon sofa and watch the news. Roger 10-4, bring us snacks. Cook droid, prepare a platter for his imperial majesty. Okay, now which remote? You'd think they would have figured out how to just have one up here. Okay, class. While Dante fiddles with his tech, <laughs> let's tap this follow phone in Jupiter, Florida. Day, uh, Davis residence. Oh, Glory, it's me, Ozona. Uh, oh. Who? Skip it, cuz. I heard you snore for 16 years of boarding school, and I know your voice anywhere. But how? Oh, nobody knows where we are. Please, Glow, you can't just drop out of the Estrati. Is that what Smythe wanted you to tell me? He doesn't know I'm calling, Gloria. Stormy and I are up here, and Dandy is too. Who? Her betrothed, the light of... Of all days. Hush, oh! That will never happen! Glow, I'm trying to tell you. Dan and Marvie are both... Oh, for Pendor's sake, just turn on the sonic circus. Summer's Night Disposable Mental Floss is proud to present the story of Dante Del Fuego Day. His tragic, triumphant tale and impending coronation. Oh my God! Caesar! Come quick! Look! His Imperial Majesty is in the capable hands of top SX-7 model, Vava Veronica, preparing him for a glamorous wedding to Miss Stormy Knight of Planet Earth! My phone? Hello! I, I'm teaching a class. It's me, Marvy. I am calling with my mind. <laughs> Isn't it time to look in on Tanake? Ah, Koga Tanake students is a newly ordained scurrier priest sent to protect Marvy. Oh, which he did so well, just not on time. That's a matter of opinion. He, he did save you. Not before I was kidnapped, put in a coma, and erased from time. Don, keep things into perspective here. Okay, okay. On to Tadake. Ah, he has removed his shoe. Father Kinnikin, the crew's equestrians have got Marvy. She and her brother are now captives on Mars. We must find a way to assist them. Yes, sir. Happy now? Much better. Oh, no. It's you, Jet. In my mind. Marvy! <coughs> Marvy! I'm, I'm sorry, class. She's lost for now. But Ojet cannot possess Marvy completely. We shall see more of her mind beams. But now, let us return to Dante and Veronica as their hover pod speeds across the Red Desert to the largest Martian city of all. The northern ice cap is home to Fort George and the Geppetto Center for tomorrow. Let's meet the general and Mayor Dizzy. Okay. But I want you to do something for me. Yes? Dante! Can you clone this? What? Who is it? I don't know. It's weird. I was dreaming about rabbit holes, and when I woke up, I found this tiny jar. It says, clone me. So can we? Of course. Now, inside! May I present Walt Dizzy, Mayor of Mars City! Welcome, your Imperial Majesty, to the Magic Planet. A brain? In a jar? 
Now I've seen it all. And General Perseus Gannity, Commander for Planetary Population Control. Good morning, your Imperial Majesty. Call me Dante, and start my briefing by telling me what my wedding has to do with unification. Yes, sire, straight to business. This is a whole map of soul system. Notice how planet Earth is kept in the dark. As it now, the Gypto have more planets on their side, and the Hopi have been attacking asteroidal cattle stations. Simply put, chaos. We must unify the solar system, starting with Earth. As director of the TIA, Total Information Agency, my reach is limited. But that changes now. With you, we can unify all Astrati. How? We capitalize on your tragic, triumphant story. An orphan becomes heir to the throne. But what if it isn't true? Isn't it? A hero returns and marries an Earth girl with 10,000 years of impeccable Astrati breeding. Our dear Stormy Knight. Who are you? This is your future mother-in-law, Ozona Knight. When these bloodlines consummate on December 21st, 2012, the end of the great Mayan Pictoon, humanity will be symbolically unified. It is your destiny. Uh, right. Just a big little candidate, but maybe you should explain the, the cultural sculpting that has gone into our plan. My plan? Uh, your, your plan. This is the philosopher Saint Eddie Bernays. In the 20th century, he taught us to use radio, TV, and films to trigger unconscious carnal desires and control people, as his uncle Sigmund Freud taught him. In the 21st and a half century, we use the CompuNet to titillate and manipulate. Look at this data pouring in. 95% of your dirtling subjects use face space to reveal their deepest desires. Terrorists, artists, homos all stand out like glowing cobwebs. Sheeple voluntarily upload intimate details, making it easier than ever to control them using this. The Bernaysatron! <laughs> so the Astrani manipulate all the media on Earth? Exactly! And now you will see the future. This is a live hologram of Marvel SD. <gasps> Just so everybody knows, they had me strapped to a twisted gynecology chair with a metal helmet that hurt so much I missed my aluminum beanie. Electroids jabbing, face devoid of expression, hair shaved down the middle. The middle! Couldn't just cue ball it for St. Thomas' sake? Oh, Ujet was controlling my body and most of my mind, but I could still send out my mind beams. It's Marvy. What are you doing to her? This girl put our entire weather control offline with a nightmare. Her dreams cause fashion trends and other fads. The plushy phenomenon. She has unprecedented abilities across psychic and electronic realms. We are integrating her brain directly into face space. Marvy, what's wrong? She's shuddering. Oh, my head. Not again. What's this time? Dash for it before the fire reaches that ammunition! Where are you going? To join our brave lads in gray. You should die of shame to leave me here alone. I love you. In spite of the whole world going to pieces, I love you. Don't hold me like that! I love you more than I've loved any woman. Kiss me. Everybody was right. You aren't a gentleman. A minor point at such a moment. Oh, my head. Why does this keep happening? Veronica, his Imperial Majesty needs rest. This way, Dante. Come on. Damn it, Ujet! Let go of Marvy! She's projecting images into their reality again! No, Pinda. Not unless you let go of Kennedy. <gasps> I'm having fun. Marvy's so delicious. Oh, like said power. Brother, why do I always have to be in the jar? Jar Jar thinks. You, Malte, get the jar for as long as my younger brother. Oh, wait. That's forever. 
Now report magic. Yes, my said from Rodas, the prophecy one, and when we will you him to unify. Silence! He is not the one. Master, my brother, but both the negative and positive timelines. Ah! Never mention a positive timeline? Ah! Uja, report. She is tasty, yes, sister. But will she be ours to control? Yes, brother. A feisty spirit. She rides like the wind. But we will own her skin. Ah! I have my own plans when you both fail. No, I am tired of wearing this fat face. Go ride, Smythe and the girl. I want to lunch on Titan. Dear Diary, I'm sitting in the diamond dressing room of my palace drinking coffee. I don't know why I keep dreaming of genies, but it does remind me to check on my clone. I wonder who it is. Oh, and my royal suit was delivered this morning and it's holographic. I don't want to be coronated, especially wearing nothing but photons. Ah, <sighs> it's hopeless. I wonder what's going on on Sonic Circus. Good evening, Sam Sonic here. Turtling anxiety levels have been raised to burnt sienna after reports of dirty bombs disguised as snowflake snacky cakes. In response to the burnt sienna, the anxiety scale edged up another four points, just shy of anxious as hell, but not yet ready to riot. This update brought to you by the Hellfire Club, reminding you to do what you want, you will anywhere. Roger, what's up with the Holovision? Uh, incoming priority message from... Uh, Dante, come in. Are you there? Nice bathrobe. Uh, who are you? Skoriotonake. You are in great danger. No kidding. I'm getting married. Look, here's a schematic for how to reset Roger Tenfor. Use him to hack the palace network. Do it. Nom nom nom. His reset button is... where? Oh, Roger... Bend over. I, I really must protest your imperium. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, when he resets, just select a personality and then download these saucer manuals. We will get you to Venus where you'll be safe. No, Earth. I want to see my parents. But Dante. Okay, fine. Just help me with one thing. So class, zoom ahead about two hours, shall we? Dante, dude, Veronica's here. Thanks, Roger. Let her in. Yeah. So this is my coronation getup, eh? Looks like the taste got up and went. What is that? Fur? It is ermine. Dante. Dude, ermine's like totally rad and quite traditional, yo. Have you hacked into his programming? Uh. No, definitely not. His logarithms are not synced properly. I'll have him sent back to the programmers. No, he's fine. I am so fine. Way. <sighs> we don't have much time before rehearsal. So give me your hollow suit and I'll have them remove the ermine if you wish. Uh, Veronica? You're standing on my real clothes. When you disrobe without being ashamed, and place your garments under your feet and tread on them, you will not be afraid. Scurry your scripture! You did hack him, didn't you? Let him who seeks continue seeking, and he will rule over the all. I don't want to rule over the all, Roger! Beat it! Whoa! Flashback, dude! Cowabunga! What exactly did you do to him? Oh, never mind. You look handsome. Dante! That was nice. Why did you kiss me this time? To see if I wanted to. And? <laughs> Something just broke, Dante. Wait, say that again. Dante. No, nothing broke. You just overrode your own programming. That is inconceivable. I do not think that word means what you think it means. You're fine, V. Finer than you know. Come here and let me show you what I mean. Those last fall, Dante <laughs> uh, prepares for his coronation. A giant spider ship is behind the moon Phobos. While standing on the outside of their ship in Thatchina battlesuits, the genetically engineered Hopper chief 
Napeya Rain Tree and her loyal Lieutenant Hawken Flower Song are testing a new weapon. Ochen, target the Star Warts. We will see them wither against our catapults. Aye, Chief Nampea. Centered on target we are. Fire! <laughs> that one hit a cow. Oh, the bow vanity. Well done, Ochen. Now that we know the meteor catapult works, we'll pop every wart on this planet. Tell Bowie to bring the convoy and to collect asteroids along the way. All right, class, let's return to Dante's private quarters where he's about to rub Veronica from the insole right up to her uh, kundalini. <laughs> no, silly. Seven isn't my last name. Mm. Come back here, Riker. I want to show you something. As you wish, Buttercup. Where do you want me? Oh, again? Yes. Oh, it's nice. It's... Oh, warm plastiflesh spreading all over my... Completely around my... I'm completely inside. How will I breathe? Shh. Just kiss me. Mm -mm. Class, let's leave them this moment and... Zip forward two days. Dante and Veronica are on their way to the Japetto Center cloning lab where Dr. D. Hyde has nearly finished. Dr. D. Hyde, this is Dante. How did the cloning go? Your royal eminence. The sample was perfect. Except... What's that, Dr. D. Hyde? And call me Dante. Well, I'm about to decant her. Uh, why don't you come to the tank and see for yourself? Ah! <gasps> It is Liza, just like Tanake said. Why has she got green skin? Are those gills? A small portion of dolphin DNA and uh, perhaps a little tuna. Can she breathe on land? Can she talk? Let's take her out and see. Where am I? Dante, what's going on? The last thing I remember, we were... Liza, I found Marvy. Oh, Dante, where is she? Out of her mind. Oh, so what else is new? Come on, Veronica. Let's get Liza to the palace. Tanake says he can get Marvy out of the coma. This does not compute with my programming to aid unification. Assisting you could further disrupt my circuitry. I'm okay with that. That's my girl. <laughs> On Coronation Day, Smith, Stormy Ozona, and even Queen Aizen of the Gypto had arrived. Little did they know, Chief Napeya had assembled a battle fleet behind the moon Phobos and was about to attack all of the cities on Mars at once. Brother Bowie, report. All catapults closing in on assigned biodomes. Now, brother, we take this battle to Mars itself. Now we shall have revenge. Ready, aim, and... Oh, would you look at that class? We're all out of time. <laughs> well, see you next week. Cosmic Significance 2012 is written and directed by Dewey Davis Thompson and Elizabeth Brackman and is a production of Soundstage Radio Theater and Pirates and Angels Productions. Full credits and web extras online at CosmicSignificance.com. Significance.com.